Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, click the Hire Us button or the Contact Us form, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Now, this is going to be probably a greatly debated video. It is a greatly debated topic. It's a topic that people ask me about all the time. So I'm finally, I sat down and uh, put some information together on this. And this is a unified dream machine versus a NetGate appliance. Now, I'm going to tell you that this is not an easy comparison. This is a difficult comparison because the unified dream machine series, and I'm reading right off the spreadsheet that you see, it's an all-in-one platform. So it automatically has a leg up. So to try to make this as fair as possible, I'm going to start with devices that are as equally priced as possible as far as feature sets and hardware goes. So we have the standard Dream Machine Pro. We have the NetGate 2100. Um, and I've got some different notes and stuff that we're going to take a look at. But trust me when I say this is not an easy comparison. And first of all, the Dream Machine and even the USGs have come a long, long, long way. They work. They work well uh, if you use them in the correct applications. If you don't put them in the correct applications, they will fail, just like any device. You have to choose the technology that meets the need, okay? So that is the disclaimer. You have to choose this, this, the technology that meets the need. Don't be putting square pegs in round holes. That's how we get frustrated. We get failures. We get all kinds of stuff. So you can see, I've got the Dream Machine Pro, I've got the NetGate 2100. So first of all, let's talk about the MSRP. So the MSRP on the Dream Machine Pro is $379. The NetGate 2100 is $392. For ongoing cost, there is zero ongoing actual dollars that you pay out for the Dream Machine Pro. And if you're using the NetGate 2100 in a home lab or light solution, or you don't need PFSense Plus, um, or that support, then there isn't. However, if you want the pro or the enterprise support, it is $399 a year and $799 a year respectively. And the light being free is coming to um, an end. So the uh, warranty, if you buy directly from Ubiquity, you're getting a two-year warranty on the Dream Machine by default. Uh, with NetGate, you get a one-year, but you do have an option to extend your NetGate warranty to... Uh, two, three, four, and I think five years, maybe not five, but at least uh, two, three, and four. The uh, form factor of the devices, the Dream Machine Pro is a 1U rack mount device. The NetGate 2100 is a desktop uh, type device. Now the LAN port on the Dream Machine Pro, you can have a one gig LAN port or a 10 gig um, or a combination. With the NetGate 2100, it is just a one gig port. Now, it should be noted that with the Netgear 2100, you can do anything you want with any of those internet, uh, any of those Ethernet interfaces. So there is nothing defining what's WAN, what's LAN. Uh, it's totally configurable. I'm trying to do this in as much of an unbiased way as possible, by the way. WAN ports. On the Dream Machine Pro, it can be a 1 gig or a 10 gig, a combination of the two. And with the NetGate 2100, it is a one gig port. Uh, both devices feature a built-in switch with the um, Dream Machine Pro as an eight port gigabit switch. With the NetGate 2100, it is a four port switch. The processor in the Dream Machine Pro is a quad core 1.7 ARM Cortex A57. The NetGate 2100 is an ARM Cortex A53 1.2 gigahertz dual core. They both feature from the factory four gigs of uh, RAM or memory. From the factory, the Dream Machine Pro has 16 gigs of storage. It is upgradable. The NetGate 2100 series ships with eight gigs. That is also upgradable. The Dream Machine Pro does support redundant power, but it is proprietary. It is the um, the the uh, RPS system. The NetGate 2100, I could not find anything on power redundancy there. All right, so regular throughput of the device without any NAT rules or anything like that is um, uh, 8 gigabits of uh, routing speed forwarding over on the Dream Machine Pro, 2.2 gig gigabits per second over on the NetGate. 
The IPsec VPN throughput is 800 megabits on the Dream Machine and 254 megabits on the NetGate. The IDS IPS throughput is 3.5 gigabits on the Dream Machine Pro and 964 megabits on the NetGate. Uh, the Dream Machine Pro is has fans for cooling and the 2100 NetGate uh, device is passive. The Dream Machine Pro uses 33 watts of power max and the NetGate 2100 uh, is 6 watts. And neither of the devices support power over Ethernet. Neither are they powered by power over Ethernet or do they provide power over Ethernet. All right, so let's take a look at the features. I have to get this out of the way up front. Um, the Dream Machine, because it is uh, a lot of things, it is the uh, software-defined networking controller, so the Unify network application. It is a phone system. It is a camera system. It's an access control system, a user ID system, a digital signage system, which we can't get into here. Okay get that out of the way, right? So it is a huge ecosystem and that is the linchpin for the entire thing. Of course, the NetGate, uh, there are some hacky workarounds to install the Unify application controller on your Unify network application on your NetGate. I do not recommend that. All right, both devices support IDPS, so intrusion detection, intrusion prevention. They both support uh, multi-WAN, but the Dream Machine is limited to two WAN connections, and the NetGate 2100 can have up to four WAN connections. Both support VLANs. Both support um, IPsec VPN for uh, clients or road warriors. They both support IPsec site-to-site. -site. They both support... Uh, open VPN site to site, but on Open VPN Road Warrior, only the uh, NetGate 2100 supports that. They both support zero tier. Uh, so here's where some of your glaring differences are going to come in. So the NetGate device, you have full control over DNAT and SNAT. With the Dream Machine, they're sh kind of shoehorning it in. They're not calling it that. They've got some weird rules. They're changing the nomenclature for things. And um, so you can kind of do it. But with the uh, NetGate, you have total control. Both devices support policy-based routing. Both support WAN failover. Both support WAN load balancing. Both support LTE backup. Both support multi-WAN IP addresses. Both support firewall rules that are configurable by the user. Both support both support port forwarding. Uh, the NetGate 2100 gives you full control of your quality of service, your QoS. Dream Machine says it does auto QoS. I can't vouch for that. Uh, here you go. You can, uh, the Dream Machine and both the NetGate device will work with any manufacturer switches. Uh, they, you can plug any switches in, but you do have to manage those devices by themselves. Uh, the Dream Machine does not natively support ad blocking. There's some hacky workarounds that I don't recommend for that. Uh, but the uh, NetGate 2100 does support ad blocking. They both support captive portal. The Dream Machine at this current stage does not support high availability. That is supposed to be coming with the release of another device. However, the NetGate 2100 supports that out of the box. Uh, the NetGate 2100 can also act as a DNS server. The Dream Machine cannot. It can act as a DNS forwarder and that's it. Both devices can be a DHCP server. Both support IP country blocking. Both support content filtering. Both support packet capture inspection. Traffic monitoring, traffic logging, traffic stats and graphs, traffic shaping. The Net, NetGate 2100 supports traffic shaping that is fully, config, fully configurable by the uh, admin. Uh, there's not really any good traffic shaping. You have uh, smart queues, which is a fair queue system. I don't consider that to be a good traffic shaping mechanism. Both support stateful packet inspection. Both support IB, IP version 4. Both support IP version 6. Both support static routing. The NetGate 2100 supports dynamic routing, and it supports BGP and OSPF and OSPF 6. The Dream Machine does not do any static routing. Or, I'm sorry, dynamic routing. They both support static routing. Uh, 
Uh, both have a built-in Radius server. The uh, Dream Machine does have a one-touch client VPN set up, and you'll see more about that later. The NetGate does not have that. You have to have a client and install the uh, config. Both support real-time IP block lists. Both support application blocking. The Dream Machine does have a honeypot service. The NetGate 2100, I couldn't find anything definitively to tell me if it does. So if it does have a native honeypot in it, please let me know. The Dream Machine does not support antivirus at the gateway. The NetGate 2100 does support antivirus at the gateway. Both support URL and IP blocking. Both support time-based firewall rules. Both support IDS, IPS, false positive suppression or rule suppression. Both uh, support safe search for search engines and for YouTube. Both support dynamic DNS, DNS forwarding. Both have web-based management. Both have a setup wizard for first-time setup. Both, both do support remote management. Both support easy and secure backup and restore. Both do support configuration export and import. Both do have an encrypted auto backup. You can have different levels of admins with both systems. Um, you, uh, both systems have multiple language support. Both have local users, not just cloud users. Uh, they do have, both have group security privileges. Both support external radius servers. Both support key-based SSH access. The Dream Machine does not support reverse proxy configuration. The NetGate 2100 does support reverse proxy. Uh, bandwidth throttling. You can only do bandwidth throttling on the Wi-Fi with the Dream Machine, and you can do it on the wire or any way you get packets to the NetGate 2100. It can do bandwidth throttle all the way around. User data caps. Uh, they both support that, but with the Dream Machine, it has to be done with a voucher, and it's a guest network only. Both support local logging, remote logging, SNMP, Notifications, uh, important notifications for the device. Both devices do support that. Uh, the NetGate does have an entire screen in PFSense for network troubleshooting tools. There are some network diagnostic tools scattered throughout Unify, but they are not all in one nice, neat place. So you got to know what you're looking for and know where to look for it. They are both based on open source. Um, you cannot deploy a UDM in the cloud. And what that means is you can't spin up like a server at Azure or AWS. You can do that with the NetGate. You can also deploy the NetGate on-prem in a VM. You cannot do that with the Dream Machine. Uh, the Dream Machine does support network pausing, where it's just a little pause button for the networks. Uh, the NetGate 2100 does not have that. Uh, paid support, you can get paid support uh, for the NetGate directly fr from NetGate or from third party and paid support for Unify products are only um, available via third party. Both offer free support. Both Ubiquity and the community offer free support for Unify products and NetGate does have a community platform. The Unify system does have topology maps, whereas the NetGate uh, 2100 does not have that. The Unify Dream Machine can do client device fingerprinting. The NetGate can give you MAC addresses, things like that. Uh, guess the manufacturer based on that, but it doesn't do the exact fingerprinting, like show the actual device what it is the way that Unify does. Both support jumbo frames. The NetGate 2100 can be used as a pure router without NAT. You cannot do that. That is one of the Achilles heels of the Dream Machine is you cannot disable NAT. Uh, both systems will work with other manufacturers' APs. However, you are back to that same um, conundrum where you are managing those devices independently. You can set up the uh, NetGate via a, uh, or not, not the NetGate, the Dream Machine via an app. You cannot do that with the NetGate. Uh, Ubiquity has a really nice mobile app. There are some hacky workarounds to get a mobile app for NetGate. If there's an official one, please let me know. I couldn't find anything on that. And that's it. So you can see, and I'll leave a read-only link to this. Uh, that way you can look over it. But uh, there's a lot to consider, right? So use the right tool for the right job. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. 
Um, do not leave links because YouTube will automatically block your comments if you leave links. So leave everything down below. We'll see uh, if we can answer these questions for you. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikToks. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Click Hire Us or the Contact Us button. Fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or by using our clearly marked Amazon affiliate links. Those are down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.